Okay, so if you actually understand basic math, this should be a very easy problem to solve without using a calculator. All right, so let's take a look at the problem. We have 0.8 plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. What is this equal to? Well, we have a multiple choice question here, and let's take a look at our answers. So A is 3, B is 19 over 10, C is 0.9, and D is 0.03. All right, so once again, no calculators, but uh, if you know the answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so once again, 0.8 plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. What is the answer? Well, the correct answer here is B, 19 over 10. All right, now, if you did not use a calculator and you got this answer, well, you definitely get a happy face in the A+. Plus. And if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot all this stuff from school. How do you do this problem? Well, this is not that difficult. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into it right now. So the first thing about this problem that we want to notice is that we are dealing with a multiple choice question. And hopefully all of you out there watching this video took some sort of guess. And if you guessed the right answer, well, that is fantastic. Now, of course, we want to be able to uh, solve this problem, you know, knowing the mathematics behind it. But uh, for those of you that still have to take and pass math exams, never feel bad about taking a wild guess. So never leave a multiple choice question blank. Now, you want to try to eliminate some choices if possible. But uh, if you have to take some sort of wild guess, never feel bad about doing so. Okay, so here is our problem. And again, we're not going to be using a calculator. We have 0.8 plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. So the first thing that we need to decide here is do we want to work with decimals or do we want to work with fractions? So we have to kind of choose here all fractions or all decimals. Now, I think the best thing to do here is to work with fractions because two of our numbers are already uh, in fractions. So we have 1 half and 3 fifths. So if we can change this 0.8 to a fraction, well, then we have one big fraction problem. But uh, if we did want to uh, work with decimals, well, we know that 1 half is equivalent to the decimal 0.5. But uh, what is 3 fifths, 3 fifths excuse me, uh, equivalent to in terms of a decimal? Well, we have to take 3 and divide it by 5 to get that answer, and then we have to add up all these decimals. Okay, so I think, again, it's a lot easier to solve this problem uh, using fractions. So that means we need to figure out what 0.8 is as a fraction. Okay, so how do we change a decimal into a fraction? Well, hopefully, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you have to use place value. And that would be correct. So 0 0.8, if we kind of say this uh, decimal using place value, the 8 here is in the tenths place. So this is equivalent to 8 tenths. All right, so 0 0.8, the decimal 0 0.8, is equivalent to the fraction 8 tenths. And now we have one big fraction problem if we uh, think of it in this manner. Okay, so 0 0.8, again, is equivalent to 8 tenths plus 1 half plus 3 fifths. Okay, so how do we add fractions? Well, you can't add or subtract fractions unless the denominators are all the same. So we have a bit of a problem here. We have 10 here, 2 here, and 5 here. We have to get all these denominators to be the same number. And what is that called? Well, if you're like, hey, Mr. Teacher Math Man, that's called the lowest common denominator. Well, you would be absolutely correct. Okay, so the LCD is effectively the lowest number that both 10, 2, and 5 divide into uh, without a remainder. Okay, so what is the LCD here? Well, hopefully you're saying, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that is so easy. The LCD is 10. Okay, so that is correct, and that means that uh, all of our denominators here need to be 10. Okay, so our first fraction, 8 over 10, we already have the LCD, so that is already good to go. But uh, we have to rewrite uh, 1 half and 3 fifths such that the, the denominators here are 10. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, this is not that difficult. So to uh, change a 2 into a 10, all we have to do is multiply it by 5. But uh, if we do that, we also have to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. 
So what we're doing here is creating an equivalent fraction. So 1 times 5 is 5. 2 times 5 is 10. So the fraction 5 tenths is equivalent to the fraction 1 half. But uh, we want to use this fraction because we have 10 down here as our denominator. All right, so how do we change a 5 into a 10? Well, that's very easy. We just uh, have to multiply that by 2. But if we multiply the denominator by 2, we also have to multiply the numerator by 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 2 is 10. So now we have three fractions with the denominator of 10. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, Check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. All right, so now that we have all of our fractions written such that uh, each denominator is the LCD or 10, we can easily add these fractions. Okay, so how do we add or subtract fractions when the denominators are the same? It's very easy. All we have to do is write the denominator. In this case, it's 10 and then add the respective numerators. So that's going to be 8 plus 5 plus 16. And uh, of course, the sum of 8 plus 5 plus 16 is 19 over 10. Okay, so this is our final answer. Now, this type of fraction right here is called an improper fraction. In other words, the numerator is larger than the denominator. So we can actually uh, uh, change this uh, fraction into something called a mixed number fraction. But that, that's not required. But uh, if you wanted to do that, all you would have to do is take 19 and divide it by 10. But uh, these are fraction skills that you need to understand. And uh, in basic math, you have to be comfortable working with uh, decimals and fractions. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.